thank you so much i'm really really excited for my journey ahead because it's the first time that someone from madhya pradesh has won the crown and i am indeed the first girl from ujjain who has ever registered in femina miss india so i'm so excited to represent my state my nation on the world stage well i have not gone from my homecoming yet but i could see the warmth in my in the eyes of my parents when i was on the stage and i was crowned i could see my parents were filled with pride and their eyes was in tears and my father's hands were in air and it was such a beautiful moment to and capture for life yes indeed when i was a kid when i was a 7 year old i actually used to be dressed up as miss india for fancy dress competitions and that's when i realized i wanted to be a miss india no matter what i did not know what a miss india was how a miss india functions but i knew that i want to be a miss india so this is my childhood dream that has come true today all of the contestants that had participated were the best from their states and were really really deserving and beautiful and they all had purpose in their lives but um, i think one thing that separated me out of them was that i was really really into my indianness i was really indian i was really raw i was really um desi i would say which is not something like pa- something which is not, not very common in pageant so i think that factor of me stood out and made me the femina miss india world 2024 in the line of work i think aap kisi bhi cheez mein agar efforts dalte hain ya apni life ka ek bahut bada hissa dalte hain to wo definitely aapki personality mein aapke kaam mein reflect karta hai maine theater mein apne 7 saal diye the to jab ab main camera ke aage aati hu to wo kahin na kahin wo experience dikhta hai halaki 7 saal bahut chhota time hai kisi bhi art form ko seekhne ka lekin mujhe lagta hai ki aap jitna kaam karte jayenge utna seekhne ka scope badhta jayega aapke kaam mein utna hi nikhar aata jayega The name of the film is Chambal Par, and it is a 1960s period film. And I did a did play a primary role in that, named Sangeeta. And the film was about how a woman is targeted every time, even if when she is not at bad, and even if when she is not at the fault. But the film really encaptures the real beauty of India. The film was shot in the Chambal and Dholpur district of uh, Madhya Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh border, and. Um, It was a really, really beautiful experience to work with Sanjeev Rath Singh sir and Devendra Rath Singh sir. And if you watch the movie, you will realize that it has really captured the beauty, the sarso ke khet of India, the four degrees temperature of Chambal, and it was a beautiful experience altogether. I think um, since being a theater kid, I have always. Uh, done plays in different languages sometimes in english sometimes in sanskrit sometimes in gujarati so i think i'm very very open to learning new languages and open to having opportunities that comes in my way regarding the films and i want to be an actor i want to see myself acting so i think any art form does not have any language the expression of art is language is not bound by the languages so i'll be open to every language that comes my way I really, really want to work with Sanjay Leela Bhansali, sir, because the life he puts in his characters and the larger-than-life teleportation he does for his character is immensely beautiful. And being a person who loves drama and who loves glamour and loves beauty and women empowerment, I think Sanjay Leela Bhansali, sir, would be my first choice if it comes to working with a director. And I hope I get to work with him soon. It will be Ranveer Singh ji. He is currently taken by another dimple queen, but I really love him on stage, off stage. The way he treats women, the way he treats his wife, is something which really, um, something which I really appreciate about a man. and he is a fantastic actor the way he incorporates the character in himself the way he is dedicated towards his work and his screen presence is beautiful so i would want to work with him in future i think even without um be uh, having been crowned as femina miss india it's our everybody it's our responsibility to give back to the society we are born in if we are capable enough and i think everyone is capable enough to at least 
do something a little bit of their earning a little bit of their experiences to the society and it's not just about lending um money or lending financial support to the ngos it's sometimes it's about lending an ear listening to their stories just being there for them when you when they need you so i think i'll be there for them always yeah i used to watch all of the answers finale answers and i used to be really impressed and moved by their answers and i was i was always so awestruck by the fact that these girls were so young in age priyanka chopra ma'am ashura rai they were really young and when they like won the crowns and the way that they represented india on the world stage is commendable so i would really want to take that that very trait from them and i really want to perform as good as they perform in the world stage and bring the crown home I'm really, really moved and impressed by Ashwini Rai Bachchan, ma'am, because she is not just a beauty, but a beauty with purpose, a beauty with intelligence, wit, and real patriotism in her heart. And she really inspires me to be a good Miss World and the deserving Miss World. I would just want to thank them for always believing in me. I could see that from the stage, in everybody's eye, that they wanted me to win and. I'll not let them down. I'll not let my country down. Just keep your support. Just keep your faith in me, and we'll make wonders, and we'll bring the crown home.